What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. I didn't have to start my profile over. I'll go over that shortly. My headphone jacks getting caught on my desk. So fix that real quick. Um, Alright, let's back up. Pick up this. Pretty large trailer. That's uh, I I put in a mod for trailers because I wanted different kinds of trailers, and I could pick from a variety of trailers. I decided to pick the 3000 R trailers. Um, they're in the Steam Workshop if you want to find those. Um, so I'll go over once we get on the freeway. I'll go over a couple things, or maybe once we get the truck in here. So we finally got traffic back. Um, what was the culprit was Jazzy Pat, uh, Jazzy Cat's uh, deal. Um, now we got lots of traffic. Um, SES is starting to, you know get their traffic together and you don't really need uh, Jazzy Cat's traffic pack anymore. Um, you can actually, you know, the trucks that are in the game, you know, there's a Dodge Ram over there, there's a old Oldsmobile or something like that, there's a Chevy van, there's a Dodge Magnum, a Jeep, you know, so on and so forth. So the game is starting to implement its own traffic pack. Um, so that we don't have to fix my mouse so that we don't you know have to um, implement our own should I say I'm gonna stick my nose out here I'm never gonna get in here <laughs> yeah I mean I'm gonna block the road for everybody but you know I got I can't sit here and wait. So, like I said, I removed Jazzy Cat's pack. I really liked using his packs. I really had no problem using any of his packs until, um, you know, 1.30 came out and everybody started talking about um, having issues with uh, traffic. And, you know, I started doing some investigating and I started asking around and you know, everybody that plays a game asks if you're using any mods, um, which ones, and, you know, I have, I had so many so that it was impossible for me to say exactly which one or go through the game log and find exactly which one because going through my game log, um, it'll tell you, if you don't have that many mods, it'll tell you, you know, let's say you have 10, it'll, it'll tell you which one is causing the, the problem. Well, in my case, uh, just going down my list, it had, um, it just said warning, warning, error, error, warning, warning, error, 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 warning, conflicting, you know, and so I just, I was debating whether I should start my profile over, um, so I went into the forums of the American Truck Simulator on Steam, and they were very helpful. Um, I think his name was like Willie JK. Um, he was the the person that helped me out and um, was saying that you don't really have to start your profile over. You can just uh, erase all the mods, and you know I didn't really think about that honestly. Um, I just thought you know. I just thought, 
uh, you know, I'm going to have to start over. But, you know, kind of like when we switched from 1.4 to 1.5 and I started my, my profile over instead of what I could have just done was, um, you know, just took out the mods. I always forget that that's an option and you can uh, continue your game without, uh, without you know, having to start over. So I'm glad that those people were there to tell me that or I would have started my profile over completely from scratch. Um, so I'm still driving this truck. She's not next to me because I haven't tried it out. Um, so basically, I went through my mods and I was able to keep, 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 I was, I was able to keep, uh, longer yellow lights, even though, you know, can't even really tell the difference, um, I was able to keep the truck, um, and I'll tell you why I was able to keep all this stuff in a second, um, I was able to keep the Alcoa rims and tires, the, the engines pack, um, FLB truck that I have for my Terminator truck. Um, although I'm not using it right now, I got rid of all my trucks so that basically when I what I did was is I went and saved my profile as it was. I erased all my mods, or I saved my profile and then I erased all my trucks and then I erased and then I saved again and then I took out all the mods. And then I went back into the game, bought a new truck, saved, and then started implementing new mods. And then, so with the mods that I currently have, like I said, I don't have any traffic. Stutter there. I don't have any traffic packs. I have Alco rims, longer yellow lights, uh, real packs, um, engine deals, sort of car over there. See, now you can see that there's a car that's supposed to be there, and they're, you know, like, doing, like, a little, you know, standoff type situation. I don't know why you would ever put your car, a police car, in front of a suspect's vehicle. Unless you, you know, normally they're behind. But, hey, who am I to judge? It looks cool. Anyways, uh, I'm getting off track here. Um, the mirror... A little bit more stuttering. The mirror... Uh, I, I put the wrong mirror in. Uh, I'm using the s small edition instead of the other one, so uh, this one is actually square. My other mirror is a lot more uh, rectangular. This one's rectangle, but the other one's a lot more rectangular. It's uh, it's taller than it is wide, so uh, yeah. Um, so I was able to keep that mod. Um, I don't think I was able to keep... I tried to keep um, a, like, economy booster, but I wasn't able to keep any because, um, I was having problems with it going to Euro currency. Uh, it was showing all my money in pounds instead of dollars, so. Weak engine break. saying, the reason why I kept certain mods and I got rid of certain mods was I kept them based on if they were updated this year or in December. Well, not even in December. If they were updated um, when 1.30 was released. And I did that because um, a lot of my mods were updated in 2016 and that's the last time they were even touched. Um, so they were just left there, and, you know, those that those kind of mods that aren't updated by the authors, um, or by the people that created them, um, could corrupt files, and could mess with other mods, because they're not continuously being updated, they're just left there, so I took out all those mods, anything that wasn't updated as of 20 January, like, 
12, 2018 or something like that. I'm not, not exactly sure on the date. Oh, wait. Uh, not exactly sure on the date, but um, I wanted to keep that Google interface, and that was uh, updated, but I just, I don't know. I wanted to keep my mods minimal, you know, so I, I was able to keep my truck. Obviously, it's the, I had to redo it so the inside is wood color and not black like I used to have it, and get off the phone as an in here. Um, but it is pretty much the same truck, um, besides a few things past me. I was like, what is that noise? I should have let him go by, but uh, I was too busy on an outside view. So, um, yeah, so I didn't have to, so like I said, I didn't have to do anything to my profile. All I had to do was remove all the mods that were, hadn't been updated, get rid of all those. I, instead of having like a stores mod, like to have all the stores, um, I guess, for lack of a better word, be the same, um, like, how can I say this? Okay, so like the stores that you see on the side of the sides of the trucks, uh, so the companies being labeled on the sides of the truck on the billboards at the stores, you know, have them, instead of being charged, be Best Buy, um, I, I decided to use one mod that was updated recently, and instead of using three, because I was using three, I was using three different mods to do that, and back, back then, when I, and back then, I mean, the last episode, um, I was using a mod for trucks and trailers to be company, uh, to be with, you know, Best Buy or whatever. I was using the stores, I was using the gas stations, so the gas stations, the stores, the trucks, everything that has uh, a company name that's different from uh, the vanilla game, the, what the truck came, or, you know, what the game came with, as far as the companies being changed to what they really are instead of being Walmart instead of Walmart, you know. And basically all that, all those things I had on like four different mods they're now all put on one mod. So um, that's a lot easier for me. Um, obviously you know, it cuts down on how many mods I have and I don't have to have a bunch of different ones or keep updating different ones or I don't have to, you know, I like Jazzy Cat's packs or his traffic stuff and his trucks and stuff, but, you know, unfortunately they're not working, so I'm, you know, I'm, I mean, it kind of sucks that I'm no longer using them and he's not making them anymore. I think the last one he made was in December of last year, December 26th or 25th of last year or 27th. It was, a tw it was late 20s, 20-somethings of last year. It was the last one he made. It was 3.7, and so it was for 1.29. It wasn't for 1.30, so I think he knew something was coming. And I also want to tell you guys about the new state that they're talking about releasing already. Um, they're working pretty quickly on... Uh, since they just released New Mexico not that long ago, they're already talking about releasing another state. On Twitter, they gave a... Um, like a little sneak peek of what it could be. It looks like it's going to be Oregon, um, just based on uh, how many trees and stuff there are. I mean, I know Texas pretty well, and I know there's not that many trees. Uh, maybe there are, I mean, I don't know, but I think it's going to be Oregon. I think they're going to re release Oregon next, and it's probably going to cost, you know, like I said, probably going to be around the range of what we're, what we paid for New Mexico, because it's, I'm basing it off of, uh, I'm going to stop at this rest stop, but I'm basing it off of, uh, the size of the map, rather than <laughs> any, rather than, you know, what they plan on doing. I mean, I don't know what's in 
that town. I mean, what's in that town? I don't know what's in Oregon, Portland. I mean, I know obviously know that, but as far as um, like historic places, I don't know. I don't know anything in Oregon uh, personally. I mean, that could just be me being ignorant, but I, I just don't know what's there besides redwood trees and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, um, get back to getting on the freeway here. So I just wanted to go over that and show you guys that we do have our, obviously, when you started watching this video, you saw our, that we had traffic back, and like I said, unfortunately, Jazzy Cat's not involved with the traffic anymore, and it sucks, but, you know, SES is stepping up their game, and it's pretty good that they're stepping up their game, because, um, it makes it a lot easier on people like us who like to play the game that we don't have to have so many mods into the game because SES really doesn't want you using any mods but you know like I said previously you know we always want more trucks, freightliners, max, you know whatever they may be American something, Eagle, I don't know what I'm talking about, even Volvo would be nice drifted and the guy's laying a little bit over there. Um, even Volvo would be nice, but, you know, that's a mod that someone, or uh, Aerodeath, I believe, implemented. I don't know if he was the first one to do it, but he's the first one that I saw do it, so that's why I always refer to Aerodeath. Um, maybe I'll drive a Volvo. I mean, I drove a Volvo for uh, probably about 20 episodes, maybe towards the end of one episode going into the next. I should have got over for that guy, but, you know, there's a part of the lane right here. I think I'm getting off here. Yeah. Quick, quick here. See? Traffic. None. Headed into what looks like what is it, Circle K. So all this, all this we're seeing here, the stores, the U-Haul, um, is all done by one mod, like I said. So the Circle K there. That's pretty cool. So I don't think. You know, I don't think that anything really changed much other than the stores, uh, the branding of the stores. I was going to go, but obviously it's not going to turn. So, you see the Range Rover over there? That's not a mod, that's nothing, you know. I don't know if it says Range Rover on the front, but... saw that in, in Jazzy Cat's, um, I gotta get over here, I'm never gonna get in here if I do it this way, um, I never saw that, hey, no trucks, no box trucks when we're coming in, uh, like I said, I never saw that in Jazzy Cat's deal, where are we going, that's the question, that way? Shut up. Oh, I think I know where we're going. Now I know why I said no trucks. But I think we gotta go in that way over there. It's such a 
<laughs> since we have traffic now. It's not. Hey, HD, I used to work there. Shout out. Uh oh. Don't hit me. Don't be that guy. Obviously, it says no trucks for a reason. Because our entrance is over here. The CVS building looks different, though. I'll say that much. Oh, don't tell me we're going that way. How in the world? I don't think they'll do it that way. I'm gonna have to back in here. Well, that just made our our life a little bit more difficult. Tell me, guys. I thought this episode was going to be short. Noob. Partly cheating because I'm using outside, but I don't know what else I'm going to do if I didn't have outside me right now. There might be streams over here. fell down in real IRL. Excuse me, people, but, uh, I need to occupy your road for a minute. Wow. That's crazy. I didn't think that pole was going to fall down. I thought, uh, Headed in the wrong direction, but uh, hopefully these let me go by a little bit. It's saving my horrible idea of <laughs> it's saving Josh. What am I hitting? Be quiet. Nobody coming. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Go ahead and honk your horn. Here, I might hit your car. I didn't even touch your car, pal. Who 
Let's do it. Alright, so... <laughs> this is gonna be uh, a great episode. I never promised I was a great driver. Uh, without... Uh, <laughs> hold on. Without second... Without, uh... The number two button. Which is this button here. Uh, I would be pretty... Screwed. By that is, I wouldn't be able to do this in first person. Uh, no way, ever. You guys saw it firsthand of me trying to get in here. I do like how hard these are becoming. Uh, how skillful you gotta be. Normally, I gotta watch that pole. Are we clear of that pole? Please tell me we're clear. We're clear of it. Okay. Uh, the click is it's not allowing me to go past this section here. I mean, I, I guess that'd be good that we wouldn't you know, get ourselves stuck any more than we already are. But I got it. Not. I don't know what I gotta do. I gotta reevaluate how I'm gonna come in here. This is for you, Peter. Ha! <laughs> te teach me how to drive a. Trucks. Don't hit that, please. I don't care at the moment. <laughs> at the moment, just trying to get around this corner. I like the drop off, don't get me wrong. The drop off is very difficult, um, obviously. It's real life. People really do have to park their trucks in spots like these, and there's not always an empty spot. I know that's, you know, obviously to my right. There's probably normal, well, in a CBS, it's probably uh, a small truck spot, but. You know, they give us, you know, if they really wanted to screw us over, they could have put a, a trailer next to us to really make it impossible to back up. But, uh, yeah, here we are. <laughs> Thank goodness. Knocked over a pole. That's not. I mean, it it is pretty bad for for how long it took to get in here. Uh, this episode should have been maybe like thirty minutes long, and it, now it's probably an hour long, just from me getting in here. Uh, I could have done something really jank and uh, pulled in here, and you know try to do a U-turn in here or something like that, but, you know, that wouldn't have been real. Neither would my driving, but by the time I hit the pole, eh, whatever. I'm not going to talk my way out of it. You guys already seen half of what happened. Hey, excellent! 
So see, we're not getting the money that we used to get. We're not getting, you know, I had to take out that mod because it was in Europe, European currency, which I think is pounds. I'm not exactly sure, but it was showing that C with the two lines through it. So let's see. I don't think we have any other. Well, we do have a truck that I had to save in order to get us back to where we were. It's basically, um, I'll show you guys real quick. It's just basically the same truck we had before. We had a version of this before. I just, you know, did the basic model, put it in uh, Santa Fe. So that's why I have so much money because I had to get rid of all my trucks. Um, we will work our way back into getting our normal trucks, but for now, that's what we're gonna have. Um, go back out here that was crazy that was crazy well I appreciate you guys sticking around watching it if you guys stuck around through the entire video I'm sorry <laughs> but uh I appreciate it and bless what do you think of the new style I mean I don't think the trucks really different other than the window the Peterbilt uh, pride and Glory, I believe that is on the side and the Peterbilt and the same as far as the grill goes it's some pride in something glory pack or something that came with the came with the truck um, yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching I'm sorry like I said again and I look forward to seeing you guys next time take care peace out